yo 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 new day new deal so i actually woke up early for this um which is insane um i don't know not for this but i just i guess i couldn't fall back asleep so here i am um i usually just wake up at around 11 and then you know go to work but you know because it's fucking 11 and you know the sun is beginning to exist again because, you know, spring. Shit. Could have rode that one more. Uh, the sun is actually beginning to exist and uh, I don't have any curtains in my room. Uh, and when the sun comes up, it's basically directly into my fucking windows. Uh, so first of all, it just gets fucking hot. And, you know, obviously bright, which is horrible, absolutely terrible. Now I actually gotta, you know, fix my sleep schedule and, you know, when I wake up, I gotta, I don't know, walk around for like an hour and then, you know, just procrastinate everything because I gotta work and then I can't do any other things. Even this is like pricing it a bit, um, but you know this I got a time frame for like a maximum of thirty minutes uh, because I know I can't get past fucking collector, so you know I got that going for me. <clears throat> so yeah, ju uh, also just got a you know new uh, new uh, sh new shifts, which. Fucking shit for like this month, which show that I I don't really have that much left. Um, shit, it's only like two, maybe three a week, three shifts, which totals about not even twenty hours, which is, I mean. Yeah, yikes for that, right? Also, because I got, you know, actual uh, bills to pay. You know, adult bills. I mean, it's still, our bills are pr pretty fucking cheap because we split them four way, but still. It's. Oh, that's my alarm for waking up. Oh, wait, shit. I was in range. Oh, well. So yeah, this right now is where I'm supposed to wake up, but here I am, uh, on a full stomach, and, you know, halfway through a Hollow Knight run. So yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a funny, that's a funny. Uh, I just realized, uh, last night I was in the supermarket just like, you know, looking at shit. Uh, first of all, we went to the supermarket, you know how they have like bakery sections, right? Oh, uh, uh, uh. Um, they just, you know, packed up shit like an hour early. And we, did, we didn't realize it until we were pretty much out of the store that, oh, they just put them in like small packages. Like, you know, that too good to go. Uh, thingy, but we realized it halfway out the store, so that's pretty sad. So we basically went to the store for like no reason whatsoever. Uh, uh, anyway, we went to another store to get like uh, ice cream or some shit. I don't know, really know. And then I found some uh, some of that fucking like alcohol. Uh, you know, basically it isn't. I, 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 I need something to clean out my DS, right? And that's that's basically what I need. It's just, you know, some fucking uh, rubbing alcohol that can... No, fucking hell, not... Can you not? Please. Uh, I needed to clean my, you know, electronic shit. Uh, because when I cleaned it with water the other day... Uh, it, it, it didn't really work, it didn't really work out, and it's, you know, way worse off than before. 
And you might think, oh, well, why did, what did you, <laughs> what the fuck did you do it with water? That's fucking stupid. Uh, and yes, I guess it is, but uh, I saw it in a YouTube video. Uh, it was actually a pretty cool video. It was about this guy that like he lost his like his Blastoise from like 20 years ago or something was you know corrupted. Uh, and part of it, not all of it, of course. The video was fucking hour long. It was a really cool video. Uh, but a part of it was just you know getting the game into the PC. Which required, you know, a working SD port, which is exactly the problem I'm having. It's just the SD port is, um, you know, uh, subpar. It's not working. It's not working whatsoever. Uh, at least right now. And they just fixed it with, like, a uh, fucking pick. Uh, thunder. With a little toothpick and some water. That's not a toothpick, you know, ear pick? What the fuck are they called? I don't know what they're called. Ear pick, I'm just gonna call them ear picks. You know what I mean. And just water, which sounded really cursed. And they said, yeah, this sounds really cursed. But they did it anyway, and it worked. So I thought, hey. Oh, thunder. Uh, so I thought, hey, let me do it anyway, and let it work. And it didn't work. So here I am looking fucking stupid. Um, but you know, I uh, I didn't buy that like rubbing alcohol because I'm I gotta I gotta research a bit if it's actually okay to use that. Like how much of a percentage is good to use. Um, but now that I'm thinking about it later. Aka right now, this is a thought. This is an original thought coming into my head right now. Um, if you know those guys were able to use water, then it shouldn't be a problem whether it's you know 95 percent or 98 percent or something like ethanol. It should not matter. But then again, how do I know if it matters? Not that I'm saying like. Ah, uh, girl, they faked the whole video, but like, I don't really know what I'm trying to get at here. It's uh, I guess I just did a bad job, and that's that's it. I gotta live with that. I gotta live with the consequences of that. Um, so, yeah. Wow, huh. can we actually hit it? Fuck, so close. It's amazing how I haven't found out yet, like, the optimal time to start. Even though I've had so many runs, I haven't dedicated a single run to, like, mapping out the timing. Okay, that was... Embarrassing. Anyway. So yeah, we, uh... Oh yeah, we got the new fucking shirts at work. Which is goofy as hell. Uh, it's actually pretty cool. They're pretty comfy. Uh, I forgot to take some home with me uh, last time. So, and my boss directly asked me, Yo, you bring any home? And because I'm just, uh, you know, my boss's satisfaction is all that ever matters. I just said, yeah, without thinking. And then I walked away. Like, you know, it's the end of my shift. There's a reason I walked away. I didn't just walk away. Um, so I'm hoping he just, you know, that was a meaningless question and he, you know, didn't actually take all the rest of them. Yeah, so take all the rest of the shirts and just burn them out back. I hope that's not the case, but who knows. We also got uh, a dude, a guy, a gal. <laughs> Uh, come home from vacation for like a month and she also doesn't have uh, Those like company shirts or at least I assume so I don't know how she would have gotten them So I'm hoping they're just uh, The shirts are just there until you know, until the end of time Also, you know, what are they gonna do with new employees like what, 
I don't see any reason they should get rid of them. So, uh, TLDR of this uh, long ass meaningless ramble. Yeah, they probably got more shirts for me than this one I'm wearing. So yeah, baller, baller. There's apparently been a lot less people at the restaurant, just like in general. Or like, it, not even the restaurant, just like the mall. Been there, been there. <clears throat> I don't know if it's like, just in general, like the mall is going to shit, or just... You know, the restaurant going to shit. Or if there's some actual reason for it, because it's like, you know, it's the start of the month. People just got paid. Uh, but despite that, last time I was at work, there was nothing, like... There was, there were no one. Granted, it was a Sunday. But the last Sunday before that, there were... There was, there was packed. So I don't really know what's going on, but it's really just a 50-50 when you get into work if it's, you know, packed or not. Because I feel like there's no in-between. Oh, uh, goddammit. I got also on Thursday here. I gotta work with a guy that I don't particularly like but like it's me and him the entire day so we're just gonna like stand awkwardly and you know do nothing for the entirety of the okay okay we're good we can start clapping back now let's go let's go let's go Celebratory chocolate milk. Let's go. Oh yeah, also found some cheap chocolate milk last night. That was pretty awesome. Pretty awesome sauce. Well, I was uh, probably should, you know, address to my uh, dedicated one viewer uh, that yes, I have not uploaded in like three days. Which might seem unusual, but no, it is very usual. And this guy, at this time, I actually have like a reasoning, except for last night, because I got time last night, but I just decided to play Ellen Ring instead. Um, so, I, uh, I, was, I was home, I was back home with my parents, just, you know, chilling, hanging out. Uh, I got a really bad track record of just being sick whenever I'm, you know, back home at my parents' place. Which, I mean, fucking sucks. But, you know, that's how it is. I don't really got any, like... I don't know, it, it's nice to be home when you're sick, though. So, I guess that's a, that's a win, I guess. But yeah, woke up Thursday. Last Thursday with the I, I could not fucking sleep. I think I talked about that too. Just like I couldn't fucking sleep for shit. And then, you know, a day passed by. Still didn't really recover too much. God damn it, that's a horrible spot for you to be. So, yeah, you know, yeah, you know, it's, uh, you luckily recovered pretty much from that, and then we just sat down and, you know, watched the movie. Oh yeah, holy shit, how can I not, I I finally watched, uh, what's it called, <clears throat> Howl's Moving Castle for the first time. And as a first time viewer, I gotta say, Fuck yeah, this shit is awesome, and I uh, ironically got a lot of D&D uh, &D inspirations from that, that I can just, you know, play around with. 
but it's just you know I got that, that's pretty much all I've been told to is just like you know Studio Ghibli in general which this is the first movie I've seen from them like they just the setting the aesthetics of everything is just gorgeous and they're right it is it is really fucking cool just like the entire like the scenery just like the background everything going on that's just like every single minor detail has been taken into account and it's just really cool to you know feel because you feel like the world is actually you know alive and not just some background uh, the plot itself, I don't know how much the plot actually made sense. It was like a kingdom in war uh, with another kingdom. It was like, you know, futuristic, but not really. But there are monsters involved too, and this is like... It looks like the sh fucking Shadow Realm, but it's probably just a war zone. Which, I mean, I guess makes sense if it's just like... No, this is a kids movie show that oh yeah war is fucking bad also I really like the fact Rosa, Rosa. Uh, I really like the fact that they didn't actually sh you know show or tell anything about like what the war is actually about it's just it's just a war like this movie doesn't want to be political and it just chooses not to be it just says like yeah wars are bad uh, the only thing I guess political could be that at the very end of the movie, uh, the queen, that is basically the bad guy, right? Because she, uh, you know, she just wants to get rid of all the magic users, because I guess they can fuck up the war or something, like with their own agendas and stuff, because they're so powerful. Uh, and you know, Howl's moving castle, like Howl himself is a magic user, so that's, you know, a thing. The master of the house is a magic user, which is why his fucking castle can move. Which is really awesome. You also don't really get a detailed explanation of the, like, powers, like, power system, if you can call it that, even. It's just, like, cool magic. And then that's it. I like the vagueness of it a lot. Even though it's, you know, I also... I, I also like power systems that are really concrete. But, you know, it's just it just fits with the whole aesthetic of, like, the world, too. I just wasted that. Whoa, that did nothing. So that's pretty cool. Uh... But they just, they just, they don't get political whatsoever. It's just like character driven. Everything is. And even with the characters, a lot of it is very vague. Good game, good game. Uh, like, for example, the little boy who presents to be a old wise wizard, he doesn't really have a backstory. Also, there's this cool fucking wis witch who cursed the main character to be a, a fucking an old grandma. Which is just a, a pretty funny concept. And I don't know why I didn't see it coming. Because I have seen, like, you know, material, like, you know, pictures and stuff, like, referenced here and there. And I didn't put two and two together that, like, oh, the old grandma is the protagonist and the old grandma is the same person as this person like what the what the fuck i mean how was i supposed to know that right um i don't know if i was supposed to know that but i didn't and here we are uh shit god damn it didn't even get him So yeah, I, that movie in general is just really cool. It's just, 
Again, the plot doesn't really make sense because the queen can also. I, I don't think I ever finished that sentence. The queen just in the in the end of the movie, she just says, "Yeah, uh, just just end this end this meaningless war." Which is like you know, if you could have done that so long ago. I'm guessing there are many insane like fan theories on like what the war is about or like you know the directors or something just saying yeah the war is meaningless and that's that's just it I could see that happening I think you very well see that happening that is a very bad way to go into a galleon fight with 2 HP <sighs> whoopsies anyway let's let's try at least Alright. So yeah, I really like that. I also just like, like, the companions and just the humor and stuff. You know, it felt very Disney-like without actually being Disney-like. Like, it felt like it should be Disney-like, but it's just, like, more based. It's just, like, better in every way, basically. You know, there's actually layers to, you know, this shit and not just woke liberal media cucks. So, that's probably awesome. Yo, Shio. Been a long time. How's it going? Haven't been too bad myself. It's been... It's been a while, hasn't it? It's... Yeah, embarrassing to say, but I've just been heart stuck while rambling, I guess. Like, you know, the thing is, if I try, I can you know, probably get this in, you know, under a hundred days. I would think so, like the whole thing. But the thing is, I don't really fucking care about you know, the game itself. It could be fun to try, but it's just like the commitment that I don't have the time for. Probably because I want to do other shit, including playing other games, such as Elden Ring. But, you know, oh shit, my nose itches. So yeah, I've actually begun like deep diving into Elden Ring too, like, you know, actually playing it instead of just, you know, I don't, I don't know what instead, but, you know, just, I, I, I have dropped Red Dead again, which pains me, but god is it worth it to, you know, have picked up Elden Ring. It's actually like... I can already feel it very subconsciously just changing the way I, you know, play games in general. So that's a uh, good game, good game, good game. Just like how I handle like big bosses and just like big challenges in general. Well, that's pretty awesome. And I hope it continues. I just, I just beat, um, uh, I just beat my Margaret. So I'm, I'm at, I don't know, I can't remember the name, but I'm at the castle now. I'm like inside the castle. And by inside the castle, I mean I'm just outside the castle and I, I don't know man, that's a very strong guy that I need to, you know, not, I don't know, he, he has armor and shield and he actually has, you know, special abilities even though he's probably just a little goon fuck me um uh oh uh oh can i not die as a hive knight fuck you he was in a blind spot there my microphone went over that corner shit oh well Um, so, yeah, we, we, I, 
I made it to the, the castle after, you know, sniffing every single rose on the way there. Because this, even though this is technically a speedrun, I'm just sniffing every single rose on the way. Which is 100% worth it, yes. And, you know, it's just, it's just fun because the whole world is fucking filled to the brim with just content. And, you know, I, I even discovered a, you know, underground world, which I did not expect to find. That's really fun, just like an, a whole underground level, pretty much, that is, you know, I'm guessing optional. But it's just like, the, the way that this game rewards, rewards me for just, you know, going around exploring I absolutely love it also it gives me like small hey collector it's a uh, I did I did not expect to meet you here when do I gotta go to work it's pretty soon I kind of hope I don't beat you because then I'm gonna be late um, just the way that the game rewards you for just being you know being awesome I don't know it is pretty cool. So just you know, get sneak peeks too. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm getting at. Just off the map. Uh, you know, cause there are places that like you know disguise themselves as, as traps, right? That ju just pretty much the whole gimmick is to yeah, that was a. And I saw that coming immediately when I turned around by accident. You know, I thought about turning around and then I actually turned around, but I didn't actually mean to turn around because I, ah, uh, fuck, shit, but... Oh well. That's a, that's a stinker right there. Um, so, yeah. I basically get sneak peeks of just, you know... Then I get sucked into a chest, I guess, and then spawn directly like in the front of some giant lava titan or you know, a big feathered black angel or something uh, and then I just have a like free campfire there and when I look at the map it's so far from where I am just like in the middle of nowhere like in the middle of you know dangerous high level territory So, yeah, you know how it is. Um, anyway, I, uh, I gotta go to work now. I didn't expect it to make it so far, so. Yeah, over and out.